Hello, we're here with Ms. Cob Mrs. Kopkan. She is the Tourist Minister of Thailand. And we're here interviewing her at WTM. Um, Ms. Kopkan, Mrs. Kopkan. Yes. Um, there's been a few, you know, shall we say, issues in Thailand recently. How, how, how have you looked at dealing with the, with, with the issues that you've had in, 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 in the tourist area? This can be uh, the experience that, uh, that can be shared and learned by others. Uh, because nowadays things uh, change with the world. Uh, the crisis that happened in Thailand on August 17, the mom and Prakaso, which is the center of Bangkok, uh, that shattered so many things. But we uh, fast recover because of uh, no one is the quick action uh, that we and the team have made in order to respond uh, to the public, to the media, to the world. What happened? Uh, quick action is very important. Secondly, we have to uh, give out the true information. Uh, so honestly, uh, clear information is very important to speak out. Number three is the the unity of and, and collaboration of the people who, who, who support us. For example, like you and the beauty or Pasha, the UTC, they have gathered themselves and in order to speak out for, for Thailand, that they have confidence that Thailand is back to business and things that happen, uh, it can happen anywhere. But what is more important, how to learn from that and recover, of which we did. But uh, that is the level of the international, the, the level of, of the international media. Uh, besides that, what we have to do is the level of the Thai people. So, so we have the campaign, we, what we call Stronger Thailand, Stronger Bangkok. Um, so that um, to unite the spirit of the Thai people that whatever happens, we have to uh, go forward together in order to help the victims, help the family of the victims, but most of all to help Thailand to recover fast. We need to, to get back on track our daily life so to show the world that um, we, we have learned and then we, 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 we can go on. But of course another thing that is equally important is how to, to, to come up with the safety measurement and the countermeasure in order to uh, not to have this kind of thing happen again. So the collaboration between the police Police, police, the army, and most of all, the private sectors. How to um, come up with the, the safety measurement in terms of the number of people, in terms of the um, the network that work together in terms of equipment like CCTV and whatnot. So now we are safer than much more safer than before. So that's how we recover. And some some people call us. Teflon tourism meaning we will recover very fast. So we, we believe we can now achieve the number of tourist arrival uh, target of this year, which is 28.8. We might be able to achieve more than that, uh, maybe 29 to almost 30 million. So and that's that's how we recover. And and, and what your, what kind of markets are you looking to attract more of? Because. Uh, I mean, obviously Britain's a big market for you, that's why you're here. But what other markets do you see as important to you right now? Every market is important. Uh, I think that is another thing that I, I would like to share. Another crisis of uh, tourism is that everyone is now into tourism. Everyone knows that tourism is going to, uh, to be expanded for maybe another five years, ten years, over five percent. And according to the so this okay. So how can we how can we have share or a bigger share? So we need to be able to to find our, our own identity when people are flocking into this this market. How can we attain quality? That is our aim. To be 
want to be quality leisure destination, we want to be sustainable, we want to achieve sustainability tourism. Because um, since the competition is going to be very keen, so how can we grow not only for one or two years, but for longer years and pass on to the next generation. We believe that in order to attain quality and sustainability, we have to strike a balance. This is according to the teaching of our His Majesty, the King of Thailand. The balance between the business, the income from tourism, the balance with the community, and most of all, uh, the responsibility of the nation with the environment. So we need to, to have the balance of this way. Another thing that is very important is wealth distribution. The income uh, from the increase of tourism must not only go to the, the uh, people in the service uh, industry, but it must be shared uh, to other uh, part of, of the country, like agriculture, SME, and whatnot. So everyone can, 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 uh, can have a better living, better quality of life, and that will help to stabilize the political situation of the country in Georgia. And last but not least, uh, we hope that tourism to be able to groom up the young generation, to take pride in being Thai. We believe that no, no matter how much we try to promote Thailand, but if the young generation, they, they, they don't appreciate the value of, of the kindness, who will take care of, of our tourism in the future. So that's very interesting. So it's, you're not just looking at tourism as a business, but a way of uh, you know, shaping the future of your, of your country it's, all around. It's, it's a social tool. And, and for, for us, uh, this is, uh, the, I think, the duty of the ministry. Uh, it's not only marketing, but it, it, uh, it should also help to regulate, but then at the same time, share collaborate with other ministries in order to attain the quality of tourism in the country. So we need to touch on the people, we need to touch on the safety, we need to touch on the convenience, we need to touch on the environment. Many of this not only under one ministry, under many ministries. And we need to join them into, into one direction. And, and that's why we learn our, our, not only the logo, but the concept of Amazing Thailand. Amazing Thailand has been launched many years ago, like eight, nine years ago. But uh, to rebrand ourselves uh, at this moment is a crucial uh, moment because uh, we are going to enter ASEAN economic community. Uh, the opening up of ASEAN, everyone is in food tourism. So how to maintain our identity? brand ourselves so that uh, people really understand who is Thailand. And we believe that um, Thailand is the Thai people. We have made the research that uh, 20 million of people coming to Thailand, 60 to 70 percent are repeaters. And we, we interview them why do they keep on coming back to Thailand. They say they, they, they like Thailand. It's not not because of the beautiful beach, great mountain, beautiful art and cultures and whatnot, but the true beauty of, of Thailand is the Thai people. Thai people is the friends, if, if they are good friends. And, and so therefore, we understand that that is the DNA of the Thai people. We are good friends of everyone. The land of smile, the <laughs> land of friendship. And people keep coming back, people keep helping us despite all the crisis, because they love us. We are their friends, true friends. And friends never leave. Friends who will always help each other. And so therefore, discover kindness under the theme of Amazing Thailand with the new, new face, yep. the pink color, and with the tint of yellow. It's, it's meaning, um, it's the energy. It's, it's, um, it's the liveliness of, of the Thai, of the Thai, and yeah. the big smile and the eyes, 
yeah. smiling eyes, and that that is really Thai. And Thai is meaning the way of our, 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 our yeah. People. It's a very strong culture for that, isn't it? And it's like uh, something that I think that, you, that you're doing well here at WTM to communicate. And um, Minister, I have to say a thank you for giving us this time to talk so openly with you about it. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon at ITB or WTM. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you.